What up Team Colossus? Today we're going to go over the things we wish we knew when we started lifting. I really hope this helps a lot of you out. Please smash that like button, give that a good big old thumbs up if this helps you in any way kind of avoid the nonsense that myself and Kyle have done over the years because it's pretty pathetic what we did to get from point A to point B. Our job with this video is to help you guys eliminate all that nonsense in between. Let's dive into tip number one. Guys, I get new clients all the time. I make them the routines and I say, all right, you guys are gonna be in the gym for about 50 minutes to an hour. And they go, what? I'm not gonna make any gains. I'm gonna get no results. I can't do this. And they just freak out. Less is more, guys. If you wanna progress, you need to start slowly. It's if you go from not running an inch in your life to trying to run a marathon. You're gonna burn yourself out, feel like crap. And once you get to that point, what are you gonna do? Run two marathons? And this is called MRV, max recoverable volume, guys. And to dumb it down, basically you want to find that sweet spot where you're making gains on minimal amount of work so you can increase that volume as you progress and become more of a mature lifter. If you're a new lifter and it's your first year in the gym and you're on Jay Cutler's four hour routine, that was a solid workout. You ready to get out of here, bro? Let's go. Dude, we've only been here an hour and a half. I'm a quarter through my chest workout. I'm working so much harder than that. I'm gonna see so many more results. Number two thing I wish I really knew back when I started lifting was about full range of motion. Don't make fun of me here. Number one mistake here was actually listening to Cali Muscle on his YouTube videos, but I used to watch him. Show me, show me who strong, who rips year round. I see him press like five plates, do like quarter reps, and I'm like, man, sick. If he's doing quarter reps, I can do quarter reps too. So I started doing that. And then I realized after I started learning a lot more, I'm like, what the hell am I doing? I'm not even working my muscle group. So really focus on full range of motion. This is why we make a ton of videos teaching you how important it is to actually make muscle gain naturally. So keep that in mind and you guys will make solid progress. Number three thing is I really wish I knew the importance of hitting legs and squatting. Back in the day, I used to be a long distance runner. So my legs would get very sore if I ever did a leg workout. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just hit chest. Um, back, I would just do a lot of bicep curls and I always skip leg day and I really regret that. One of the most important things you guys can keep in mind is that having powerful legs doing any sports, just everyday life is very important. You always want to be symmetrical, so never skip leg day and you guys will thank us later. Number four guys, and this is something I wish I knew from the start, supplements are just supplements and they're a lot simpler than they're made out to be. So I remember back in the day, there was a guy from my high school, he was a really big dude, and I used to always think, oh, he's bigger than me, but he cheats, he uses creatine. And I was so misinformed that I was one of those guys that now I kind of like shake my head at. So don't fall into that trap and think that supplements are some magical powder. Supplements are supplemental, they kind of help, they add on, they give you an edge, but they're not gonna really make a big difference if your nutrition and training are not on point, guys. And there's a lot of supplements you don't need. Like a lot of young guys will result in mass gainers. I made this mistake. I used to try to chug them and I remember puking it up all the time. You don't need to get a thousand calories from a mass gainer and pay four bucks a scoop when there's so much good food you can take in. Food is the best supplement of all. From there, I really recommend you guys check out the video somewhere in the screen. I can never remember which side about our top five supplements for natural lifters. That will help you out a ton. Also, if you go to our website in the first link in the bio, you'll find a uh, thing for a free supplement ebook that kind of gives you the one on one of all the supplements you need, all the supplements you don't need. Check that out. Most beautiful bird right here. Look at that little homie. Just trapping. All right, guys, number five, let's get into it, is know what nutrients are and know them well. You guys gotta know your fats, your proteins, your carbs, what they do kind of what is a carb, what isn't a carb, what's fat, what's protein, and what their purposes hold. Otherwise, you're gonna be so lost with nutrition. Eating healthy doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna lose weight or gain muscle. You really have to understand calories as a whole, calories in versus calories out. It's not so much, you know, you'll hear a lot of things, it's not what you take out of your diet, it's what you put in, and just eat more healthy foods, and you can eat as much as you want, but in reality, logging and learning logging styles and the one that fits best for you is gonna result in sustainable ability to kind of reach your fitness goals, whatever they may be. Number six, this is something I wish I really listened to at the very beginning of my journey. Do not compare yourself to others. I think so many of us get carried away with the next top Instagram model, um, the magazine covers, everyone on fitness. social media. What? <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> the next top fitness model! 
Um, but anyways, yeah, I think way too many people get carried away. Like there are so many different people with different body structures, genetics. Some people are on steroids. Some people have been training 15 years longer than you. And I think a lot of people at the very beginning of their journey get depressed. Um, they start to lose motivation. And I wasn't exactly like this, but I know I did focus a little bit more on what other people were doing. Make sure to focus on yourself, yourself only, and you will see tremendous results. But don't worry about what other people are doing. Last but not least, number seven, this is something I wish I did back in the day, was hire a coach. Please, if you struggle at all, if you find yourself going in circles, you don't want to be doing this for too long. You don't want to be going into the gym, just spinning your wheels, not getting anywhere. So the online coach, what they do is they honestly make it a million times easier. They kind of give you everything you need to get results. And I actually do know two online coaches, the best online coaches, Josh and myself. You guys can sign up. The second link in the description down below will get you started on your journey and get you to reach your goals. To wrap it up, let's hear one thing you guys would tell a new lifter, a mistake you made that you wish everyone knew when you started. Let's get these comments bumping, filled with tons of great content that everyone can build off on. Thank you so much for watching. If you stayed this long, we love you. Even if you didn't, we love you, even though you're not here. I know it's complicated, but that shows how much love we got for y'all. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Be sure to smash that like button. Check out some more of our content, and we will see you in the next video.